it's Gotham City. It can, you know, you know, every time you 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 achieve something, you know, you got a big target on your back, and you know, and people come to the city from other places in the country, and they shake things up, and they just get in there. there. Just get in there. And <laughs> Yes, yes, that's right. And what else can you reveal? Um, I don't know exactly where that's gonna, how that's gonna end up. I think, I think, uh, sh I think it'll be fun to see whether or not those feelings are genuine and in, in, in how they play out in the season and what that means for Gordon. You know, an interesting idea would be that James Gordon is dating. A Falcone, and mm -hmm. how does that work, and what does yeah. that mean? You know your trouble. Yeah, exactly. But what does that mean for Gotham, really? Um, so it, it's really, it's really fun to do. There's also this like fun, uh, well, especially for me to play. Like, there's a fun kind of, I would say, Victorian kind of flirtation between the two of us. You know, which, again, is just like. I've said it before, but like anytime someone comes on our show, a new character, and especially if I, you know, myself, if I have like such intimate scenes with them, like she teaches me, she's taught me things about my character that I didn't know, you know, and she's like unlocked things, you know, about the character that, yeah, I had no idea were going to happen. And it's just such an amazing ride to be on because it just, it keeps it interesting. It keeps yeah. it like, you know, alive and it doesn't feel stagnant, you know, and for an actor, that's just basically death. I mean, that's just like, mm -hmm. and our show is just absolutely not that in mm -hmm. any way. So she's a really welcome member of the family. <laughs> How has it felt integrating into a cast that has been so established? I think it was daunting at first um, because I didn't know, you know, it's kind of like going your first day of high school and you don't know where you kind of fit in and, and what that means for such a, 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 year, a, a year of your life, essentially. Um, but like I said, uh, Robin's the first person I met and I think... It really helped me, and, and thank you. Of course, okay. uh, because it really thank helped you. me to feel welcome and safe, and, and also you're in New York, so people, you kind of know that if people don't like you, they're going to tell you. You don't have to worry <laughs> about like any kind of fake, you know, pretenses. So, it's but it's, but it's really all in all, it's been quite quite amazing. Yeah. What is that welcoming uh, ritual on the set? You have new characters. <laughs> I don't what think that there was one. Do you guys have a ritual? Or? Well, no, there's no ritual, but I, I, I always, like, I make it a point, especially if I have scenes with someone coming in, to, like, go up and just, you know, welcome them to the family. Because, again, our show is so dark, and, you know, it's, it's a, and it's a difficult show to shoot. You know, it's a long season, 22 episodes, and we work 14 hour days, maybe more sometimes. And, you know, I just want, like, anyone coming in to really feel like they're part of the family. Because, you know, you, you don't do good work when you're worried about that kind of stuff. You know, your, your work suffers. And I don't want her work to suffer because then that'll affect me too. You know, mm -hmm. it's like we're all very connected on our show. And, you know, I just, I also remember being, you know, being, a, you know, a guest star on shows and, like, coming in for an episode here and a thing there and a day there and a day there. And, you know, I've been on sets where it's been incredibly warm and loving, like the Walking Dead set. I don't know if you guys get to talk to those guys, but those actors are all beautiful, wonderful people, and they just embrace me. And I remember leaving that set being like, all right, if this ever, if I ever get on a show, you know, where I'm a regular, I want to make that experience where everybody else comes in. Because, again, it's just like, you, you want to do your best work and you don't want to be worried about any of that other stuff. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. The relationship with Big Mom, I mean, it was, it was awesome. Yeah. Last season, you guys build it up, but now he's like a trophy piece for Penguin. That's right. Is that is that what is going to be established um, from now on, or are we going to see more of him? Oh, you'll more see more, you, you know, of course, <laughs> you, you can't keep Nygma on ice. You know the entire season. Come on, it's what a wasted opportunity. No, you, you know, and I, you know, I know it's a spoiler, but I don't think anyone's surprised that he will find his way out of the block of ice, and but you know, he will. He is. He is. You know, like everything that happens to people. You know, he it changes him, and so there's a different dynamic between Ed and and Penguin. You know, at the top of the season, and then as we go through and come back together, it'll be even you know more. Uh, It'll just be richer and, and, and more grounded in something different, something different from last year, but you know, still they're part of each other's lives. So. That's it, thank you. Along with the growth of your character, because seeing you from season one, where you are like the penguin being the shy guy, mm -hmm. and now taking control and really being the head of Gotham. Yeah. I mean, what are we going to see from, are we going to continue to see that growth? Because it's fun to watch that transformation into the penguin yeah. that we know. Yeah, well, you know, yes, of course, as we start out, you know, he's, he's top of the Gotham underworld. 
Uh, he's running the show. He's actually found a way to license crime. And in doing that, he's actually brought crime rates lower than they've ever been. Hmm. So thank you, Jim Gordon, for all your hard work. But I got this. Uh, no, it's, yeah. And so, so that's where we start off. But, you know, it's Gotham City. It, you, know, you know, every time you, you, you achieve something, you know, you got a big target on your back. And, you know, and people come to the city from other places in the country and they shake things up and they just get in there. there. Just is get the, in there. Is the skit program going to be like your big nemesis? Uh, I, I'm not sure actually. Not, not really at the beginning. I mean, my big nemesis, you know, it's, it, it's you know, that I have many on the show. You know, there's obviously, you know, stuff with Enigma. You know, there's, you know, there's a rivalry there. And, uh, but again, I have to say, like, one of my, one of the biggest challenges one of the you know, most difficult people that he will have to deal with this year is Sophia Falcon. Like she, and she comes in and she, just in, in, just in, in her actions, it, it's at the top of the episode, immediately she has affected everyone's life in Gotham, whether they know it or not. So, like yeah. any good woman should do. Uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, mine too. If you're a fan of that, say you are, uh, do you take inspiration from Chris Bergen? Absolutely. I mean, it's, you know, obviously it's a very different take on the character. You know, that was, uh, that movie is so brilliant. And that was a very, you know, beautiful Tim Burton-esque, grotesque, you know, iteration of the Penguin. We're doing something different here. But at the same time, I've watched that movie a trillion times since I was a kid. And to say that I'm not influenced by Danny or even by Burgess Meredith, it would be a lie. Like, they're part of my life. They're part of your life. They're part of, we all grew up with that stuff, you know? So it's in there somewhere. I didn't, like, specifically say, oh, I'm going to take that. Mm -hmm. But it's just more the feeling of the character and the feeling of the world and the fact that this, the Penguin is obviously evil and conflicted, but he's also funny. Like, there's, yeah. there's humor there. And this year, in particular, we're really bringing out some, some of the humor with the penguin, which I really love because it's a different place to take the character that we haven't really seen so much of yet. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this year is going to be. We'll keep you with the canon, uh, celebrating 25 years of the Batman animated series. So yes. I'm you're either of you familiar with it, and, uh, you know, if, if uh, granted it's animated, but it was full of drama and it's really ahead of its time. Yes. Uh, any inspiration from that? And are you fans of just the overall mythology of, of what is Batman? I'm, f I'm a huge fan of Batman. I don't, I've never seen the, an I've never seen that though. The animated series? Oh, is it yeah, oh, it's brilliant. And oh. I say, like, you know, people ask, you know, what, you know, are, what influence, what previous iterations of Batman really influenced Gotham, and the animated series is right at the top huh. of the list because it's just yeah. 25 visual. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, 92 to 95 is the one. Wow. Yeah. I'm old. <laughs> 25 years. <more. laughs> yeah, there we go. It's no secret that uh, cinematic universes of comic book interpretations are blowing up. Oh, yeah. So, but there's always been a question as to we fall in love with the characters you guys play on TV on a weekly basis, and it's natural for us to want to see them on the big screen. Is that something that you think would be possible, especially for you since you've done the Penguin for a long time, or has that ever crossed your mind to, like, actually become BC, B with Ben Affleck? Oh, sure. I mean, that would be amazing. Why not? But why not? <laughs> right. Let's do it. Let's go. I mean, it's hard. I mean, anything's possible, I'm sure. But, you know, again, you know, the, the, the TV world and the film world, they're, they're, kind of, they're separate entities. And, you know, again, like, I think it might be, we're telling such a very specific story about the Penguin in Gotham. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how they would exactly fill it, fit that into a cinematic version. But you know, I'd be down. Mm. Whatever. Yeah. But he's not it. is he I think he's not in the new film, isn't he? Well the thing is now we have shows like the Flash and yeah, the yeah, yeah. Versus, No, but Ben Affleck so is he just out of yeah. I don't know if he's in the new film. Oh I think he's yeah. in the Justice League, but I don't know if yeah, he's in the new Yeah, I think he was back then. Yeah. Hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> How many uh episodes have we shot already for the new season? We're on episode nine yeah. of twenty two. Wow. We're not even halfway <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? Are you excited for the winter? <laughs> Freezing our asses off. And it feels like it went by quite quickly, though. Yeah. It, it, really well, fast. Once the train starts going, yeah. it's like, yeah, it's wild. So they have been long days. Oh, yeah. yeah. Been long days. It was, you know, well, you, you look at a show like Gotham, and, and I'm just, like, so proud of our team and the way the show looks, just the look of the show from... The small, the big, from like the the giant set to the smallest like intricate detail on the costume. I mean, it's just so rich. Um, takes a lot of time to put that mm -hmm. together. <laughs> you know, it's long days. Yeah. 
but it's worth it, obviously. Crystal, for you, joining a show where people die when they come back, mm -hmm. is that a little bit of a relief? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. No, I might get killed off, but there's a chance I might come back. It's oh, true. Yeah. I think technically you can't, I think in the DC world, you can't kill someone unless totally can, right? Is that right? I don't know. I'm not I mean, sure because, we, of, we, yeah. Because we have fun. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. So I, 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 have, I have assurance that I'll come back if I die somehow. <laughs> yeah. Somehow they were yeah. Right. Yeah, this is a Game of Thrones. Like we're bringing people back. It's like we like her. We'll, we'll, yeah. One of the interesting parts about the show is the complexity of the relationships between the characters. Yeah. Um, how do you feel getting the script and seeing the story arc that's evolving through every single episode? Oh, it's 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 incredible. Because again, it's like I I don't like to know too much in advance what's happening because it feels more authentic if I don't. You know, it's like closer, my experience is closer to that of the characters, you know, that way. But yeah, you, you, I mean, this has been happening for me like the last four years. There have been so many times where I'm like, oh, new episode, I'm like reading the script, and I'm like, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> like throwing it across the room, like, you know, like twists and turns that I had no idea, you know, and like previous, like we'll bring things back, and it turns out I've been planning this thing for like seven episodes. I had no idea. Yeah. But you know, but it's, yeah, it's, it's incredible. And again, like, Four years in, the characters just become just more rich, more uh, detailed. Just it, it's it's more uh, immersive, you know, and, and I love that about it. Uh, Is there any villain from the Batman universe that you would want to team up with? Oh mm. That I would want to team up with. I mean, you know, I. Yeah, I like. Uh, I think like a Harley Quinn moment would be really exciting. Although she'd probably be like two years old or something, like in our yeah. show. But uh, like that, and also like I, I would love to. Um, I think a really interesting dynamic would be the Penguin and Jerome, who is our proto Joker. There's something about Penguin is about order and control, and like you know, and just yeah, order and control. Whereas. The, the Jerome is about anarchy and craziness and, mm -hmm. and no order mm -hmm. and just chaos. He's like about the chaos, you know, and that goes so against the grain of who Penguin is. So mm -hmm. I think that would be a really fun dynamic to see. Yeah, so, that would be good. Who knows, yeah. Would that be a confirmation that Jerome is the Joker? What's that? Huh? Is Jerome really the Joker? Um, <laughs> I mean, it, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, the way, what he is now is he is not. He is, he is an influence. He's creating the cult of the Joker. So... Someday when, if it's not Jerome, if it's someone else, it'll be someone who is obsessed with Jerome, who's obsessed with who he is, you know? And, it's, and I, I think that's exciting. I mean, it, 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 it frees us up in a lot of ways, you know? Like, we don't have to, like, stick to, like, one specific mythology. We can actually, like, expand and, like, you know? And, it, and, it, and let me just say, like, Cameron Monaghan, who plays Jerome, is just could not be more brilliant and just his the layers of his performance are so exciting. That's another like stupid selfish reason why I would love no. you know, <laughs> the penguin in Jerome's MC together. Because it would be just be really fun. So, yeah.